Uh, I'm Peter Thompson. And I'm Ellen Murphy. And we're from Presentation College Carlo and um, we're part of Youth Life Alert Enthusiastic Part 2. So last year as third years we participated in the TUI's peer education programme on HIV and AIDS and the importance of stamping out stigma. We learned a lot and were inspired to do a step up project on this very important social issue. There are two main aspects to our pitch today. Funding for a conference for H on HIV and AIDS for local schools. And funding for a HIV and AIDS awareness pack for each participating school. A survey conducted amongst thirdiers in our school highlighted the lack of awareness and the need for public campaign on HIV and AIDS. During our World AIDS Day school campaign, Mr Joe Clowry from NUI Maynooth shocked us when he informed us that while worldwide numbers are decreasing, um, the number of people being diagnosed with HIV in Ireland is increasing. This is because Sub-Saharan Africa is dealing with the problem, but we are not. We've organised speakers to facilitate different workshops at the conference. These include Patsy Toland of Self-Help, Michael Dorley of Concern, Dr Evelyn Walsh from the Waterford STI Clinic, Miss Margaret Farrell, Faith Development Officer with KESHT, who will launch the Kesh Talk on HIV, and our keynote speaker, James O'Connor from Open Heart House. James told us that if he had received the edu education like our peer education program, he would not be HIV positive today. The cost of workshops at 120 euro each will total 480 euro. We've invited TUI students from five local secondary schools to attend the conference. Our group will explain our peer education programme and recommend that they adopt it in their schools. And two students from Kalosh of Reed, Carnew, will describe their experiences in Ethiopia two weeks ago. The conference will be held in Seven Oaks Hotel in Carlo, in Carlo where we have booked five rooms. Students will be divided into groups and will rotate workshops. After negotiation with the hotel manager, Mr Murphy, we succeeded in getting a 50% reduction and the cost of hiring the rooms for the day is €250. Euro. So the total cost for the conference will be €730, Euro, which we believe is a small price to pay for informing our peers of HIV and AIDS issues. If we know the facts, we can protect ourselves. We aim to give each participating school a HIV and AIDS awareness pack. This pack would include a 12-page booklet outlining our peer education program. The cost of printing 25 of these would be €135. Euro. Stories from the Heart from Open Heart House the cost of 20 copies is 60 euro. One copy per school of Still Standing, an Irish woman's story of HIV and hope at a cost of 50 euro. As well as Concerns Positive Youth DVD and resource booklet, a copy of Personally Speaking on Breaking the Silence of HIV Related Stigma, and a copy of A Christian Response to HIV and AIDS from Kesh, which are all supplied to us for free. The total cost of our HIV and AIDS awareness pack is 245 euro. We are also making a pitch on behalf of Kaoma Community School, our partner school in Zambia, whose Youth Alive group inspired our peer education program. At a workshop given by Men's Eye of Concern in Zambia, we were shocked to learn how women are treated in Zambia. Many are not allowed to say no to sex, making them vulnerable to HIV. Young girls are forced into prostitution to pay for school fees. Mr. Sansali, who runs the Youth Alive programme, aims to hold a conference for local schools to distribute resource materials and paint HIV and AIDS slogans on the classroom walls. We wish to request 500 euros to fulfil his aims. In the course of our project, we've established links with Dublin AIDS Alliance, Open Heart House, Concern, Self Help, Kesh, NUI Maynooth and Worldwise, who provided us with a small grant of 450 euros this year. Like last year's Youth Alive Alert enthusiastic YSI group, we want to put the late Kader Asimov's belief in the absence of a cure, education is a social vaccine, into practice. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You want to print 25 of those, yes? yes. Yeah. And you said that's going to cost? Um, um, that's with these as well. The pack, the whole pack. The whole pack. Yeah, the um, costing of that this book. This one, just that one. Um, that wouldn't be in the pack. No. That one there is. Twenty-five of those booklets is one hundred and thirty-five euro. That sounds um, very, very high. Mm -hmm. I can't do that. 
this evening for the tenor. Oh, no? Uh, I don't know. What? Uh, I mean, are you not doing anything special? No hard book cover or whatever? That's the quote we have there. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Based on the spine, maybe five print. A4 book with printing cover on heavy paper, trim and score and fold, saddle stitch, table through the centre. So, you yeah, know, it's a, it's, a, it's a substantially more robust document mm -hmm. about its heavier paper, it's probably bad. Yeah. But does stuff. it need to be that fancy, I wonder? Yeah. You know, just photocopies would do. So it's more long-lasting for the schools that receive it? Yeah, because we kind of did, we didn't want to give one to, say, every student that attend. We want to give it so that they can do their own peer education programme, so they can be used over and over in different classes, not just um, kind of on the day. Of course, but if you just give them a, a, the file over the internet, uh, they, each school could print it, for example. Yeah, that might be an option. No, well, I understand yeah. that it's it, the visual material that, yeah. you know, on the day is important, but you could just also tell them to go and print it themselves if they want it more. You know, I'm just yeah. saying, if you want to save a bit of money, you're not going to have money for everything, so yeah. just giving you ideas, you know, that's yeah. it. Uh, can I just fully understand? I kind of I get, got a lot of information, it's very well presented, etc. I just want to fully understand uh, exactly what you're looking to produce and um, for who and how much it's going to cost. Can you, um, can you run through that bit again? Yeah. You have that bit. Do you want to? Um, right. Well, we're going to produce the HIV and AIDS awareness packs, and that's yeah. going to cost two hundred and forty-five euro. We'll be giving a couple to each school, and then we'll also be using some in our own schools. Okay. How, many, how many of those do you want to produce for 245 euros? Um, we had 25. 25. We had 20 of everything else, but the costing worked out that 20 or 25 of okay. this booklet was the same. So okay. So we go for so there's 25 of those that goes to school. So there's a HIV and AIDS pack, and what else is there? That's. Uh, that's that and that and. There's also the cost of the conference. Yeah. 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 That's the that's the hiring of the rooms. The speakers. So, and, uh, 200 euro, yes. Two fi 250 for the rooms, and then the rooms. there's the, the cost of the speakers. Um, hope some of them will, will be able to, will come for free. Yeah. Is that like kind of covering their transport costs? Yeah, yeah. Are right. any of them actually looking to be paid to speak? Um, we, I don't know. Probably not for that kind of yeah. Money, but yeah, no. okay. <laughs> okay. yeah. So I'm, I, we can assume anyway, it's just to cover their transport yeah. and yeah. not pay their expenses. Yeah. Yeah. So there's 250 for the rooms and then it's basically 500 for the expenses, is it? Yeah. yeah. So that's 750 altogether? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So basically you're looking for 700 for the conference and 245 for the AIDS packs. Yeah. And we're also looking for 500 for our partner school in Zambia. Okay, yeah. Okay. And what exactly, you're saying that you're doing a workshop and you're having these in different stations? Is that correct, Jim? Yes. Yeah, so what the exactly are you going to do with each station to? Uh, the different speakers will be on. Different own. speakers. Yeah, and we have a keynote speaker, um, James O'Connor, whose um, whose story is in is in one of those books, and um, he's in Open Heart House, and he's kind of uh, inspired us a lot. So he's going to be the keynote speaker, and then we'll try and um, portray or try and tell the students how they can do the peer education program mm -hmm. um, which is what we want to achieve really. Yeah. Yeah, okay, very good. And um, how many have you invited different schools, is it? Uh, or which yeah. way are you doing it or is it just your own school? No, there's five local schools. So um, there's three from our town and then there's two from elsewhere. From just outside. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank See you later. Welcome back. <laughs> um, all right. First of all, thank you very much for coming um, from Carlo and uh, for pitching. Your pitch was very good. It was very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, you've obviously uh, done a lot of work. And what you want to do is also very, very worthwhile. We like the idea of um, the the workshop. Yeah. We think it's very, you know, it's great that you're involving other schools and that you want to help them. Um, get involved. Uh, now we, we do think that some of the costs could be cut, um, okay. that you know speakers shouldn't, shouldn't ask for money. 
Okay. Yeah, do ask for money, you know, just look for someone else. Okay. okay. You've negotiated uh, prices for your rooms, etc. Um, we can't give you everything, but we thought we'd help you with 800 euro, and that you okay. can find the rest. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's okay, awesome. And well done. Yeah, well done, guys. Great Thank project. You. Yeah, yeah. Thanks very much. Thank no you. problem, no problem. <laughs> okay, so.